All right, now we're doing 8Q miles per gallon to kilometers per liter. This is by Emporio, and 87% of the people like it. Sometimes Emporio wants to quickly be able to convert miles per imperial gallon into kilometers per liter. We're going to create an application that will display the number of kilometers per liter output based on the number of miles per imperial gallon input. Make sure to round off the results to two decimal points. If the answer ends with a zero, it should be rounded off with the zero. So instead of 5.50, we should get back 5.5. Some useful associations relevant to this kata, one imperial gallon equals this much, one mile equals this much kilometers, right? All right, so there's a couple of ways we can do this. Um, I'm going to show you both because might as well, but uh, <clears throat> there's no real but about it. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, one way is the one way is more accurate than than the other though, in my opinion, or maybe it's a fact, but who knows? Uh, I'll t I'll show you the one that's a little less accurate to start with. So first, let's just get this whole uh, let's get this thing out of the way. So first, we're going to say MPG. Uh, divided by, and we're going to put this number right in there, divided by this, all right, and then times of this number, all right, and that gets the ballpark figure of what we're looking for, see, now we just got to cut off all this, you know, all right all this right there all right so to do that uh, we could do it this way with this math.prototype.2 fix and the two fix method formats a number using a fixed point notation so basically you just put two fixed and then uh, you put dot two fixed and then uh, digits like the digits you want it to round off to so in this case we put two uh, the thing about this one though is that uh, to fix returns a string representation so it'll return a string and so we're gonna have to use this unary plus in front of it I'll show you all that but the other part is floating point numbers cannot represent all decimals precisely in binary and this can lead to unexpected results such as 0.1 plus 0.2 uh, equaling 0.3 returning false all right so that's that's that but also but for this one it doesn't really matter uh, so what we would do here is we'd throw this in some parentheses. We'd write dot two fixed, fixed, and then we'd say two because we want two decimal points. And let's let me show you what happens when we do it without it. So like I said, it'll return a string. So what we're going to do is add this unary plus symbol. The unary plus operator precedes an operand and evaluates its operand, but attempts to convert it into a number. So that's what it tries to do right there so that being said I'm going to we're gonna put this in front of it and it works it definitely works but it's if this wasn't if it wasn't if it was needing more precision it might not work so we've got another way to do that and that would be to use this math.round the math.round function returns the value of, num of a number rounded to the nearest integer so, you know, it will round it off to an integer, but we can fix that pretty easily by going like this. We could just say times 100, right? And that'll make it an inner, it'll just make that number, pardon me, it'll make it what we need an integer. And then we would say math.round in front of it, math.round, okay? And then after that, let me show you what happens when we do that. So we got, so we just need to divide it by 10, right? Excuse me, by 100. So divide it by 100. See, and it'll get us the answers we're looking for. And so, you know, so it's two ways, two ways for one. Uh, and I'm just going to put that one in. And I very much like this one. My solutions, there it is right there. Best practice in my opinion. And we'll see you next time.